I talked a lot about uh, eating your baby last episode, and uh, someone hit the DM on the correct opinionization that made this article saying, uh, you know what? Wanting to eat your baby makes you a better parent. It's right here on mother.life.com or something. I don't know. It's science. Wanting to eat your baby makes you a better parent. Go ahead and nibble on your baby's dimples. Research says it makes you a better parent. Article goes on and says, we know that oftentimes certain insects eat their children right as they come out, and it's because they love them. No, that's not what it says. Babies, adorable, chunky, rolls and rolls, folding over and under one another. Okay. Uh, drinking in all that delicious newness just makes us want to hold them and take care of them at this little stage of life forever. Okay, who wrote this? Honestly, we all know the urge to just squeeze them. So, so scrumptious. Uh, it's all we can do not to chomp down on those little plump thighs with all those tempting rolls. <laughs> Dude. This isn't help doing our best to resist our desire to bite our baby. We can find ourselves wondering, is it normal? Rest assured, mama, your urge to devour your baby or your toddler or your husband or your friend's baby, for that matter, is backed by evolution, biology, and plenty of research. Not only is it normal, it's healthy. I can't wait to see where this article goes. Let's continue. Babies are designed to help people fall in love with them. That makes sense. They have ginormous eyes, little bitty noses. Above rosebud lips, chubby necks, squishy arms and legs, all have to pure sweetness. And they got those those fresh, fresh yams of behind. So good you can eat it. You know, who's writing this? Making us want to take care of them and, yes, even eat them. These compulsions are part of a bonding mechanism and signify positive emotions and attachment in addition to adding us, helping us decrease our stress levels. Several studies have provided insight into the biological foundations of human caregiving and neurobiological explanation while we feel these. In short, we are hardwired to be drawn to, care for, and want to eat. Okay, I still don't get the eat part. That's uh, Okay, uh, let's keep going. Who wrote this? Dahmer? Guys, it's normal. Hey, it's just normal, okay? You guys are the weird ones. I'm the one who actually... Why is it illegal? Like you can't eat somebody? In a okay, in a submission to the Journal of Da Da Da, a team of researchers tested the impact of baby schema on their perception of cuteness and motivation for caretaking in 122 undergraduate students. Using morphine techniques, they manipulated photographs of 17 infant faces to produce images of high baby schema or cute. The students viewed both categories along with original portraits of each infant, then rated the infant's cuteness and how much they were motivated to take care of them. Okay, taking, def taking care is different. Than the study showed that uh, the cuter the baby was, the more these people were, were just craving chipotle burritos. What? The students viewed both categories along with original portraits of each infant, then rated the infant's cuteness. Da, 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 and it correlated with the strongest impulse to cuddle pr and provide protection for. It goes on to say, though cuteness can motivate us to care for anything that looks like a baby, it can also overstimulate us, throwing our brain into overload, and we want to bite. How does this all explain why we want to eat our baby? That's what we really want to know, motherly.com. Uh, cute aggression is is when an abundance of positive emotions elicits, elicits expressions normally associated with negative emotions. Could you believe that this is actually, this is clearly an exaggeration. Could you imagine we have a bunch of women out here just like, congratulations, ma'am. This is, it's a boy and it's a cute one. It's like, oh crap. We got to keep an eye on this mom. <sighs> keep the forks and knives out of the kitchen. Throw away the salt and pepper. She's going to eat little Tallulah. When you see something that's unbearably cute, you have this high positive reaction, said lead, re, lead researcher Oriana Aragon. It, <laughs> Robots did the study. It all comes back. It's a, it's a circle. It all comes back. Why do we do this? It's to release stress. Um, what scientists are learning from this phenomenon is being explored as a means for pos possibly alleviating mental illness. It's Mama, it's perfectly normal and healthy to want to eat. Our babies. That did not explain that at all, did it? Wow. Uh, far as, as far as our friends wanting to eat the baby, primatologist Susan and her colleagues say that harmless social biting may also be part of our evolutionary heritage as a way of testing our social bonds. Okay. 
what do you like you have a newborn and you just kind of get a few bites it's <laughs> a way of raising it bite the thing so I, I guess science is on your side blogger moms when you're like guess what's for dinner a revolution Mindenhall that's who serve them up that is that science is backing that's okay so just dig in you I can't I can't my hands aren't tied here science is saying it I'm just giving you the facts it's here so that is one for the books uh eat your babies it's fine that's what I'm hearing correct opinion